Mitchell Trubisky, Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback, just tanked the last remaining playoff hopes that the Steelers had this season. Before we get more into this video, subscribe to the channel down below if you like Steelers content analysis reports, like the video, also turn on the post notifications down below for this channel as well, and let's get back into it. So, when Mitchell Trubisky got signed in this offseason, he was here to replace Ben Rosberg for this season. But when Kenny Pickett got drafted by the Steelers in the first round of this year's draft, Around the whole Steelers fan base, Kenny Pickett was the guy. He was the guy that the team and the play fans wanted to start. So that means Mitch Trubisky was on a short leash. And in week four, when he started off playing poorly, Mitch Trubisky got benched in favor for Kenny Pickett. And Kenny Pickett started the rest of the way. The only time Mitch Trubisky got playing time again was in the Buccaneers game when he led a touchdown drive. But this week, this week against the Ravens, when... Kenny Pickett got taken out of the game due to concussion protocol, Mitch Trubisky played, and he officially tanked the Steelers' last remaining playoff hopes. So, in the offseason, when the Steelers picked him up, I, really, I wasn't really a fan of the move. I know Steelers fans were a fan of his legs, his athletic ability, but in my eyes, when just watching him play on the Bears, and just for that few moments with the Bills, he just wasn't a capable quarterback in my eyes. He seemed like he didn't couldn't read the field good. He couldn't he was always throwing interceptions and just he was a conservative quarterback. And for me, I just didn't think he would fit with the Steelers. And he showed this on Sunday. But this time it wasn't due to his conservative ability. It was due to his aggressive ability. He was being more aggressive and he wasn't able to read the defense well. And as a seven year quarterback Let's see, he played in 2017 to 2022. Six-year quarterback. As a six-year quarterback, you should be able to read the defense. You shouldn't be staring guys down in the middle of the field. If you're going to stare a guy down, it has to be on the outside because that's where there's no help for a safety or middle linebacker to jump the route. But if you're staring a guy down in the middle of the route, it gives the middle linebacker a chance to read your eyes and jump in front from the route. And especially if you're going to stare a guy down when there's two crossing routes going underneath each other, that just doesn't make sense. And as a six-year quarterback, you just shouldn't be doing that. Kenny Pickett, even though he stares guys down, it's more on the outside. I haven't seen Kenny Pickett really stare a guy down in the middle of the field because that's the most dangerous part of the field. That's where the most juncture of this defense is at. Most guys are there to make a play. So as a quarterback, you shouldn't be doing that. And that's just what... Mitchell Trubisky did. But this is going to be a rare take or a hot take because I actually believe Mitchell Trubisky played good. It just, I liked his aggressive mindset because we see in all season the Steelers be conservative. But I liked the way he was aggressive, but obviously that mean, meant nothing because he was, he threw three interceptions. So that part I just don't like. I like that he was aggressive, but I don't like that he was just staring guys down and throwing interceptions because if you're aggressive and you're playing well, it just means nothing if you're going to throw interceptions in the red zone. But he was able to take the guys down on the opposite side of the field and turn it into a red zone opportunity, but just wasn't able to complete the play or complete the drive in general. So, in my eyes, Mitch Trubisky just tanked the Steelers' season because of those three interceptions. If the, if the Steelers were able to convert field goals on all three of those possessions, which they should have because it was an easy opportunity and an easy kick, the Steelers would have won that game because the defense wouldn't have been put in a situation to where they had to make, make the stop to get the Steelers the ball back. So, let me know down in the comments below, how do you feel about this season for the Steelers, and do you believe Mitch Trubisky just officially tanked the season? Let me know down in the comments below, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below as well if you like Steelers content analysis reports, like the video, turn on my post notifications, I'll see you guys all later, Till next time, I'm out, peace.